started this event to celebrate the best of Japanese pop culture here in the biggest city in America. And we hoped a few friends would show up. 20,000 did. This year, we are on track to welcome over 30,000 fans from across New York City, around the USA, and from over 10 countries around the world. We will present the biggest Japanese concert series in the history of New York, and we will... <laughs> Thank you. And we will present global will present global premieres before they're shown anywhere else in America or Japan. Yeah. Yeah. yeah! And all this is possible thanks to the tremendous support of our publishers, hi there, all of our publishers and partner friends. Crunchyroll, Anaplex, Arc System Works, Bluefin, Bandai Namco, Denpa, Funimation, G Kids, High Dive, Inti Creates, Kodansha, Kina Kunya, Noir Caesar, Sentai Filmworks, Tokyo Otaku Mode, Vertical, Viz Media, Verve, and Yen Press. And please give them all a round of applause. Now, I've mentioned a few times that we're bringing together the US and Japan for three days here at Anime NYC. And to embody that, I want to introduce two gentlemen who really represent this perfectly. And I'd like to open Anime NYC this year with remarks from these two speakers who represent the city of New York and Japan. So first up, New York City Councilman member Ben Kalos. Ben. I got more words, I'm sorry. <laughs> ben has served New York City since 2013. He represents the Midtown East, the Upper East Side, Roosevelt Island, and East Harlem. He's an advocate for education, affordable housing, public health, sustainability, and safety. And when Ben is not working to make NYC a better place, he's a bit of a geek. We were literally just talking about Ghost in the Shell five minutes ago. So, I'd like to introduce my friend, my fellow nerd, Mr. Ben Kalos. Thank you, Peter. So just a quick poll. Uh, who here liked the new Ghost in the Shell? Who here liked the original more? Uh, so I'm, as you heard, I'm council member Ben Kalos. I have the privilege of being a council member here in the city of New York. I manage a budget of $89 billion, which is short of the double dollars that you will need to get Bash the Stampede. You can keep up with me on social media, and we are live streaming now on Facebook. Hello, Facebook. Uh, you can catch me at Ben Kalos, B-E-N-K-A-L-L-O-S. And I am going to tell everybody here that when I am not advocating for everything that Peter just mentioned, our affordable housing, improving public transit, I, I might be watching anime and sharing it with my nine-month-old daughter. Like many of you, I grew up on Voltron. It's the gateway anime. Then I graduated onto Akira. In college, we would get together in basements uh, to watch imports of Evangelion marathons all weekend. You can never get enough Evangelion, and there's always more. And now that I'm an elected official, I just want to caution folks. Uh, there is, you should never, ever download Day of Subs, ever. It is a bad thing. No one should ever have done it to begin with. But what's amazing is the fan base we created now, we have Crunchyroll, which uh, you can actually watch shows with great subs, and you don't have to argue about who has the better subs anymore. They're right here on Crunchyroll, and this convention is powered by Crunchyroll. And give me one moment.
Now, one of the things that I love, there's a couple of things that I love about Anime NYC. The first piece is all of the amazing cosplayers. Today we have folks from Review Starlight, Golden Camus, Maiden Abyss, Fate, and of course one of the OGs, Sailor Moon. Can we give our cosplayers a huge round of applause? And it's not just these cosplayers, it's seeing the fans who spent months, even years, putting together costumes for this event. For me, my favorite part of cons like Anime NYC is it's like three days a year that I get to feel normal. <laughs> uh, now, the other good thing is it's actually a place you can come where you can get a chance to talk to friends and talk about Cowboy Bebop versus Outlaw Star. Uh, and having just so much talent here, as soon as I heard that there was going to be an anime con in the city, I was very excited, and I was so grateful to Peter, who's the showrunner and founder for making this happen. Last year, we thought it was a big deal that we had 20,000 people from 38 states. He blew that record away. I believe we're breaking 40,000 from 40 states. That is absolutely huge and it's only getting bigger. I think at this point you're already rivaling other greats like Dragon Con, which shuts down the entire city of Atlanta. It's soon time for us to have a parade. If you do, I'll help you get those permits. Yeah. Uh, and, and we've got people coming from all over the world, and ultimately I was talking about money before. While you're here, you're spending money, and those money gets taxed, and that comes to the great city of New York. So I just want to thank you for the fact that our budget in the city of New York is going up because of all the great work that you're doing. And perhaps the one thing that I came here to do, which was perhaps most important, is I have the opportunity to provide citations as an elected official. And so in honor of what will be the largest uh, concert around anime in the city of New York ever, which means you're going to have to top it next year, I hereby declare it Anasong World Matsuri Day here in the city of New York. Wow. Thank you, Ben. So, before we begin, we have one final speaker, and I would like to introduce Mr. Ryosuke Shimada. Mr. Shimada was born in Japan and really personally just completely lives the bonding of cultures between Japan and America. He's a man that studied in Chattanooga, studied in Amherst, he's worked for Japan in Chicago, he's also worked globally in Hungary, in Ethiopia, and he has time to watch some anime now and then. He is now counsel for the Consulate General of Japan in New York City, and please give him a very warm round of applause. Good afternoon, everyone. And on behalf of Japanese consulate, I thank you for your enthusiasm for anime and for many things Japanese. I have to confess, I never been to one of these events. But uh, <laughs> as councilman was saying, it's, I get to feel normal. Um, I was, uh, as he was saying, I was talking about Ghost in the Shell with him five minutes ago, and that was a great feeling. Um, anime was born in Japan and aspects of it are still uniquely Japanese. The cuteness of characters, the language, songs, so some social commentary, and it has fueled great interest in Japan in general. For example, the, uh, there are tours of towns and forests in Japan where the uh, Studio Ghibli characters like Totoro lived and big embrace for Japanese food found, it, found in film. But anime has grown into popularity through, through the world, especially in the U.S., as a great catalyst for cross-cultural connection with Japan. <clears throat> it is a developing form of art, um, and it has truly become international and incredibly universal. There are beautiful moments and dire challenges that every human being goes through, which are reflected vividly and creatively 
in the wide expanse of the genre. And before I let you go to enjoy the convention, um, I just wanted to thank the Anime New York City organizers, essential supporters like Crunchyroll and prominent publishers in the industry, and also, very importantly, all of the enthusiasts who take anime to the new heights of imagination and enjoyment. Thank you once more to everyone for coming, and let's enjoy the convention. Thank you. I am amazed and humbled by all of the support we receive across the U.S. and Japan to bring this event together. Despite our growth, I want to pledge that our goal, though, remains the same. We're an anime convention here in New York for the fans of New York. This is your show. These are your three days. And our goal is and will continue to be to bring the best of Japanese pop culture here to you in New York City. So, ladies and gentlemen, fanboys and fangirls, Anime NYC 2018 is now open. So we're going to pose for a few photos, but otherwise, please enjoy the show.